resonance. The increase in the amplitude when the driving force is close to the natural frequency of the oscillation is called resonance. Resonance is when the natural frequency of a system is equal to the frequency of an external force. This results in oscillating and an increase in amplitude. Take two hollow boxed A and B. Open it one side. Place two boxes with their open sides facing each other with some distance apart. Mount two tuning forks of same natural frequencies, one each on the two boxes. Vibrate the tuning fork on the box A. The tuning fork on box B also begins to vibrate due to resonance. When A is vibrated, the air inside the box A vibrates and these vibrations are transferred into the box B and in turn vibrates the tuning fork on B. Activity on forced oscillations and resonance. Vibrate a tuning fork and place it on a table or bench. Then we can hear a loud sound which is because the table top is forced to vibrate under the influence of the vibrating tuning fork. Suspend four pendulums A, B, C, D in which A and C are of same lengths, B and D are of different lengths. When pendulum A is oscillated, the other three pendulums also start oscillating. A and C are in resonance with each other and the oscillations of B and D are called forced oscillations. Examples when soldiers are crossing a suspension bridge, they are asked to break the steps. This is because when the frequency of the marching coincides with the natural frequency of the bridge, the bridge vibrates with larger amplitude and collapses due to resonance. A radio is tuned to obtain a clear sound such that the frequency of the radio have to coincide with the frequency of the incoming electromagnetic waves. We can find the velocity of sound using resonance phenomenon with resonating air column experiment.